Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go through the colors that are new in the 2023-2024 Essentials Catalog. Um, they got released on uh, Tuesday, the August 1st, to everybody, and I did put uh, a couple of posts up on my Instagram about the new colors, but I got a question on my last video about how the colors compare to some older colors. So I thought I would create a quick video to show you some of the new colors against the old colors and then also within the color suite or the color variety uh, within that particular color way, just so that you had a better visual of how the color plays with the new colors play within the color suites themselves. So hopefully this will be helpful to, to a few folks in understanding uh, some of these beautiful new colors that we have. So I'm going to start um, actually with the old color of the year. So this melon is going to be retired. A melon is a very uh, peachy melony color, for lack of a better word, um, and it is uh, going to retire. So this will no longer be available once we run out of supply of, of the things that we have. So there might be a chance um, as we go into September, there might be some melon still available that you could get, but the color itself is, is not going to be um, used again in any future projects. And so what I wanted to show you is, again, we do have additional colors that kind of fit in the same family of, of uh, peach melony colors. Uh, peach is the lighter version of melon and papaya is a darker version of melon. So you could actually turn over papaya and you might get a little bit closer. Again, it's a little bit deeper in color. So uh, not quite exactly the same, but again, this is retiring this color of the year, so it won't be used in any additional projects uh, moving forward. But that's the colorway of the peachy melon colors. All right, so the next one I'm gonna do is uh, pewter, which is uh, retiring, and there isn't a replacement for pewter. Pewter is just gonna go away. We're not adding another gray to the actual color way of the, the grays and light grays. So with pewter going away, what you're going to have is charcoal, which is darker. You're gonna have mink, which is a little bit more of a brown gray and linen, which is more of a white gray, has a lot more white in it. So if I just bring in pewter, you can kind of see that it is a light, lighter version of charcoal. And again, you can always use the back side of charcoal to get very close to that pewter color. It's not quite exact, but it's pretty close by using the light side of our cardstock. So as most of you know, we have two colors of our cardstock, the true color, which is the darker side, and then the back side, which is a lighter version of it. All right, so pewter is retiring. So the next one is journey, and this is the new color of the year. So this color is this beautiful, deep, rich teal color. And so this is gonna be around starting right now uh, through the end of August next year, 2024. And it's just a really deep, rich uh, teal color. We do have some other teals or uh, you know blue greens that are in our family way um, that are uh, part of the family, but they're much lighter. Someone asked me in that chat about the uh, peacock color. So I'm gonna put those down. And this is peacock. So this was retired back in 2021. Uh, uh, 2020, 2021 time frame, and you can tell that this is a uh, peacock is a much deeper color. It's not as bright or as vibrant a teal. It is it's much deeper in its colorway compared to Journey. So what that leaves us with in sort of the teals and the colors is the lagoon glacier, obviously much lighter a little bit more green in Lagoon, a little bit more blue in Glacier, but it's still a very light color. Seabrook, and then Harbor kind of fits in this. It fits in blues and it fits in other uh, other categories too, but Harbor has a lot more blue, so it's kind of not leaning into the teal color as much as it's leaning into the blue. 
So I wanted to just, you know, compare those. And then again, the old peacock, if I slide that in, you can really see the difference between, between those. Rosy is our next color and Rosy is being uh, replaced, uh, is replacing raspberry. And if you look at raspberry, you can see it's a little bit more pink um, in color, a little bit brighter in color than rosy. Rosy has a deeper shade of and has a little bit more red in it. And so it is a, a variation, definitely a, a little darker, richer color. So the, the um, color ways that are going to be left for the pinks are going to be rosy, flamingo, and ballerina. And again, that really creates a really nice palette of, uh, of pinks that are available. I also wanted to bring in Smoothie because some of you may wonder about Smoothie, which is again retired in 20, 2020, 2021. And Smoothie is a little bit more on the peachy side, has a little bit more peach tone to it. But I did want you to see kind of the difference. It certainly could be used in place of Rosie. If you have a lot of peach left over or a lot of uh, Smoothie left over, you probably could use Rosie in place of, or peach in place of Rosie uh, in your. Uh, projects, it certainly wouldn't uh, clash too much. So that was another option. All right, coming down into the greens, Jade is the first new green, and that one is a, really replacing green apple. Again, green apple is a much brighter, this is green apple, is a much brighter way, color um, than Jade. Jade is deeper and richer in green and uh, is the, uh, you know, going to add a little bit different depth of dimension in that color. So what's left in the green colorway? You've got Jade, Clover, Evergreen, and Sage. So these are going to be sort of that, sort of two greens, true greens. These are a little bit more blue. This one has a little bit more yellow in it as you look at this color. Uh, so you've got some more blue greens or colors that lean a little bit more blue and this one leaning a little bit more yellow. S Julep was a color of the year in 2020 and I did want to bring that in so that you could see the difference between Jade and Julep. So Julep and Jade are very different. There isn't um, a lot of similarities to them. Probably not a good substitute for, uh, for Jade if you had this in your stock. All right. La, the next one is Limeade, and Limeade is replacing Avocado. Avocado is a darker color. Limeade is a little bit lighter, but in the same family. So you can tell it's that yellowy green color, and this one, Limeade, is just a lighter version, essentially, of Avocado, almost like a little sister to Avocado. If I flip over Avocado to its light side, uh, they're a little bit closer. Avocado would be a great substitute for Limeade if this is something that you have. Again, in your stash or you have a lot of this cardstock, you could use avocado, avocado to replace Limeade. So taking a look at the other greens that are part of sort of that more yellowy color is Pine and New England, or New England Ivy is retired, so it's Pine. So if I just pull in all of these greens that are left, you'll get a good idea of the green palette that you have available to you. So Limeade, Pine, Jade, Clover, Evergreen, and Sage. So that's the new palette of greens. We did have some retired colors free, uh, recently that were also sort of in this colorway that I wanted to pull out. New England Ivy, we retired last year. Again, it's a darker yellow green. Fern was retired in 2021. Again, very similar, um, but not a, a deeper color. And then I had Sweet Leaf that also retired. Sweet Leaf is almost a little sister to Limeade. It's a little bit lighter. Again, if I turn over Limeade, you can see that they actually are very similar um, in color on the light side. Limeade and Sweet Leaf. So again, these are all retired co colors that maybe you have inventory of. 
uh, and I wanted to show you that as well. Pumpkin is the next retired color, or new color, sorry, and it's replacing nectarine. You can see that the nectarine is a brighter color. Pumpkin is a little bit richer and deeper, and hopefully you, you can see how that um, is slightly different. If I turn pumpkin over and show you the light side again, it's going to still be a little bit um, deeper of color, but it's a very close match to nectarine on the light side. So again, you can certainly use uh, nectarine to replace pumpkin in any project that you might have. So as far as the existing colors in this orange family, we've got Sundance, we've got Saffron, we have Paprika, and we have Honey Butter. Again, ranging in deepness, more red, obviously, in Paprika, and more yellow um, in the other, uh, the other three of Sundance, Saffron, and Honey Butter. When I was going through my retired colors, Gold Rush came up as a retired color again in 2020. And hopefully you can see the difference between Pumpkin and Gold Rush. Gold Rush has a little bit more yellow in it, is a little bit more goldy um, versus orange. And so that, uh, hopefully it will show you that transition or that difference. Acorn is an additional color. Um, it wasn't... There isn't anything that was retiring in the Browns family. We are adding a color to the Brown family. So the Browns that we have are Toffee, Mocha, Espresso. I'm putting shortbread in the Brown category, though when you look at our catalog, it will sit more in the orangey yellow catalog category. Uh, but these are the, the four colors that we are going to have uh, as part of the brown family. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Acorn and toffee are very close to each other. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to tell the difference in my lighting. It's even hard for me to tell. So the, on the true side of acorn and toffee, they're very, very similar. Toffee is slightly lighter in my colorway and then acorn, hopefully maybe the light looking at it like that, you can see that acorn's slightly darker. If we flip them over though, this is toffee, this is acorn, it's actually the exact opposite. Uh, toffee is a little bit darker on the back side than acorn is on the back side. So on the front side, acorn is lighter than toffee. On the back side, acorn is lighter than toffee. And hopefully that's coming through on the screen. Another retired color that we had was almond. And just for a comparison, you can tell it is a, a little sister, again, to acorn. It's a much lighter version of that brown. So hopefully that helps um, see the difference on that retired color. And the last color is royal. Royal is this vibrant purple, just like, um, you know, royal robe. And it is replacing grape. And when you look at it, you can really tell the difference. There's much more saturation in the color, the purple color of royal, than we had in grape. Grape is a much more muted purple. Royal is very vibrant and kind of in your face kind of color. The other colors that are in sort of the purplish family are mulberry, wisteria, periwinkle, um, and then we have some retired ones there. So this is going to be the colorway that is going to make up sort of the purpley family. And you can tell there's a, a wide variety of purple differences. Obviously, this is very purple. Mulberry is a more pinky purple color, could lean pink, could lean purple. Then you've got uh, the wisteria, which is definitely a purple, but it's more like a, a light purple, a more bluish purple. 
um, have a, has a little bit more of that. And then periwinkle can lean either purple or blue, depending on what you're pairing it with. So just depending on what you're moving it with, obviously it looks a lot more blue when you put it up against the royal, but if you put it against something else, it will probably read a little bit more purple. So those are the three colors that will go in the purple family. I also pulled out, again, the older uh, sort of purple pinks that we have retired. And just to give you a comparison, this is eggplant. So again, a little bit closer to grape, I would say, than to royal, if you look at that. Lilac is obviously a very light purple. And then thistle is more of a pink purple color. So not, not a lot of crossover on those. So those are all of the new colors and the colors that they're replacing and how they compare, as well as their color wheel uh, partners in our color families. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button. And if you would like to subscribe, you will get a notification anytime I upload a new video. And I would love to have you as a subscriber. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks.